So let's move on to something funner. Okay. Let's move on to something brighter. Uh, man bun. Remember a few episodes back, we had that very entertaining and informative discussion about Universal Studios and Disney and the secret war that they're having? Yes. It was a homework assignment, and I was quite proud of it. It was very informative, very proud. So there's some more news. Okay. There's some more news in that front. So we have to, once again, talk about theme parks. <laughs> Very excited about this. So since we last talked about the secret war between Disney and Disney theme parks and Universal theme parks, Universal was number one with their wildly popular Harry Potter parks. So a desperate Disney put a shit ton of money, a ridiculous amount of money on a massive and fully immersible Avatar land. Yeah. Avatar the blue people and not 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 the, the airbending. No, the blue Avatar the blue Avatar. And uh -huh. I've seen pictures. I've seen it has recently opened, Avatar Land. I've seen pictures and I've seen video, and it looks good. It looks nice. It looks okay. Uh -huh. I, I mean it. It looks good. I'm sure that the whopping two rides are good too. Wow! wow. Amazing two whole rides. What? But like I, I, I see the whole thing is just a collective yawn, and I'm, I'm sure that their Star Wars land will be massively popular. I just think it's ridiculous that it'll be set in a brand new, never before seen planet. Yeah. It's like Universal. It's like Universal Studios Florida has a Simpsons area, but the thing is that it's Springfield. It's not Capital City. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is our Simpsons area. Is this Springfield? No, it's Shelbyville. Yeah. No, it's a brand new Simpsons city that no one has ever <laughs> seen before. That would just be fucking stupid. So anyway, Disney opened Avatar Land and they're hard at work at Star Wars Land. And just for shits and giggles, they got an old ass ride, uh, the Twilight Zone uh, Tower of Terror. And they retrofitted it to be a Guardians of the Galaxy ride. They even created a really nice uh, looking uh, yes. rocket raccoon. Uh, audio animatronic figure and they got the entire cast of the movie to film some new scenes and uh, oh my god people went ape shit over the Guardians of the Galaxy ride at Disneyland. Did they? There were lines there were lines that were seven to eight hours long. That's basically your whole day at Disneyland. Yeah. People want to see this guard this new Guardians of the Galaxy ride so long that they arrive at Disneyland and immediately get in line for the Guardians of the Galaxy ride, and they're not, and and eight hours later they ride the ride and they say, "Oh my God, that's amazing! I want to go on it again." Oh, this is this is a huge ass hit for Disney right now. People are going ape shit over it. In fact, it is such a huge hit, such an unexpectedly huge response to this uh, Marvel ride that a desperate Disney is seeing an opportunity. And now they're hard at work at adding more Marvel rides to Disney's California Adventure theme park at Disneyland. So they haven't made any official announcements, but now they're looking at Disneyland's California Adventure, which hasn't been the 100% huge, massive success that they wanted it to be. And they're saying, OK, well, maybe we could get rid of the Aladdin experience. Yeah. And maybe do Spider-Man. I don't know. We have this massive bit of land dedicated to a bug's life. Does anybody even remember that now? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we could get that out. We can put a whole Avengers area. They're 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 smelling the money. Yeah. Basically. Disney is smelling the money, and so they're looking to add some more rides. Now Star Wars Land will be a big boom for them. Avatar Land is eh, but more Marvel. This could be the turning point. This could be what, what causes Disney to finally beat Universal Studios at the theme park game. So, uh -huh. to be outdone, Universal Studios recently announced a new, massive, fully immersible land that will be appearing at all of their parks, including Universal Studios uh, Hollywood, California, Universal Studios Orlando, and apparently they also have one in Japan. It's going there, too, especially there because they're calling it Super Nintendo World. Really? 
It is a massive Nintendo themed park and the park itself will have different areas. There is a supposed leaked map that was uh, published by some Florida newspaper and the supposed leak leaked map shows a Donkey Kong Island area. Yeah. Which is going to be like a jungle gym area around the 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 Donkey Kong uh, uh, the Donkey Kong Country games. There's also going to be Zelda's Kingdom mm-hmm. with uh, uh, Zelda and Link and uh, the the Triforce and the Master Sword and all of that. There's going to be a Pokemon training facility where you can uh, learn to be a Pokemon master and fight other people and a massive Super Mario themed area with uh, the princess's castle and with uh, Bowser's castle. And there's even going to be a Mario Kart ride. Is, is this really a good thing or a, like Nintendo hasn't really been doing good lately, have they? Oh, shit. Hello? Hello? Okay, I got gotcha. you. All right. That was me. That was my bad. I accidentally hung up. Okay. So you're going to have to get called. Maxwell to, to fire me. Yeah. And then you called and I accidentally uh, pressed the hang up button. So oh. we're all we're all to blame. <laughs> But, but so this Nintendo hasn't been like the thing for a while, has it? It has not been the thing for a while, but this could definitely be the thing that puts both Nintendo and Universal Studios over. Because although they haven't been the thing for a while, goddamn, they have all of the stuff. Yeah. Zelda's very popular. Mario's popular. Mario is basically the video game equivalent of a Mickey Mouse. Yeah, true. You know, so Universal Studios going uh, to the Nintendo world, this is just going to be fucking huge for them. So what this really means is that Disney better fucking start adding Marvel characters to Disney theme parks as fast as they fucking can to beat this goddamn thing. Because Nintendo Park, to me at least, that's a fucking Disney crusher. So (laughs) maybe Iron Man could be flying around Space Mountain, put Hawkeye in the goddamn Tiki Room. Put Squirrel Girl in the fucking Main Street Cinema. Just do more with Marvel because, goddamn, Super Nintendo World seems like a much better place, uh, a much better plan to defeat Universal Studios than Blue Avatar <laughs> and some mystery Star Wars land. But if you're going to put Hawkeye in the Tiki Room, you got to let him get drunk. I, I want to hear a drunk Hawkeye. Okay. Just be yeah. like, you know, just like, yeah, I'm, I'm an Avenger. <laughs> yeah, like kind of a name only. Only I know they're just playing me along. Oh, I can absolutely see that. Like, uh, like all of the birds there in the tiki room, and then like Jeremy Renner in the corner. Yeah. I am, I am Francois, <laughs> and I am Pablo, and I'm Hawkeye. <laughs> Like, that would be great. <laughs> I wrote it as a joke, but the more I think about it, that's a wonderful, it's a wonderful idea. Another he would bit have, of news: he would have a sign next to his bar stool that says like autographs ten bucks, <laughs> and there's and, the and there's still no out. line. <laughs> yeah, and then the ten is crossed out, and then it says five dollars, yeah. like crayon under the ten. 